Greetings, family. Empress D in nature, obviously. Where else would I be, right? Um, I hope everyone is well and actually getting getting into nature. I was watching a podcast or a YouTube live. I don't usually go on to like a podcast stream. Anyway, I use I watch most of my um, podcasts on YouTube. Anyway, I was watching one just before leaving to come to nature today and it's so funny how the man was saying he just and I don't know if he even realized it he just randomly said man I love nature he goes it's so calming to me and then he went back to what he was talking about he was talking about something and then he just randomly threw in how he loves nature and his platform is not he's not outside he's in a studio and he's talking about actually politics and he randomly blurts out how he loves nature and how it heals him and how it's so... Listen, I'm not the only one. And, and so I'm trying to encourage whoever's watching this, just try it. See what it does for your life, right? Anyway, what I wanted to talk today about, to, to, to talk to you guys today about is healing. Healing. And I think that's the current assignment is healing. And what does healing mean? What does it look like? Well, you know, I've been on this journey of learning myself and learning who I am for four years, right? It's, I've been on it longer, but most accelerated in terms of growth has been the last four and a half years since the beginning of the pandemic. And is when I've shared with you guys, family, I started Nature Daily in October of 2020. So, so I'm trying to say, like, I've been on this journey for four years now and and it is the journey to knowing who I am and knowing myself so on that journey you discover the things in your life that aren't so healthy and you kind of figure out how you got there what that path was that got you there family so what I'm essentially trying to say is that the wounds that we have the spaces in our lives that we're not happy with, whether it's our career, our finances, our love life, um, our relationships, it, it, it doesn't matter what area of life, but if we're not where we want to be in a certain area, our best bet to get to where we want to be in that area is to go back. Go back in time. Go back to your childhood. A really important exercise is to explore your childhood. The good and amazing times and also the bad. Oftentimes the experiences of our childhood, I shouldn't say oftentimes, the majority of who we are and how we share, show up in the, on this planet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking today. The majority of who we are and how we show up on this planet is determined by our upbringing. I shouldn't say the majority, but it has a huge impact, right? There's lots of different things that impact it, but certainly our family of origin, how we grew up as, as children, will impact who we are today. And so it's often difficult to face realities of our childhood because sometimes they're not pleasant. We're all taught to admire and expect and respect and revere our parents and hold this up on hold them up on a pedestal like they're amazing and they can't do any wrong when they are human and also a product of their upbringing, right? And so that's how we pass down generational issues um, from grandparent to parent to child to grandchild if one of those generations one of those steps in there one of those uh, generations decides no it's going to stop with me i'm going to look at this trend that's happened in our bloodline and i'm going to change my behavior and therefore change the outcome for the generations to follow and that's where we're at. We're at that precipice where all of us on this planet are encouraged to heal. 
And to heal, we have to go back. We have to go back to our childhoods, to the difficult memories, to the painful memories, to the disappointment, the hurt. We have to evaluate it. And we have to ultimately heal from it and let it go so that we can move on. And that's what I think that each and every one of us on this planet is tasked with doing right now, whether we realize it or not. And I think that's why so many of us are going through such big challenges or, or multiple challenges one after the other because we're at that moment in life where we have to be honest and real about who we are, where we come from, and where we want to go. And obviously where we want to go is how we want to rear our children so they do not continue the patterns that have negatively impacted the generations before you. So in my life, I've been doing this and I, my children are getting the benefit from it, right? And I realize that a lot of the toxic traits that are across the, the bloodlines and generations we're going to stop it with, with us, with me. I'm going to stop it. And so I'm rearing my children in a way, even though they're not babies, but they're most certainly at ages where they haven't started their own families yet, right? So we do have that opportunity to nip it, cut it, whatever generational traumas, curses, passes, curses have been passed down from generation to generation to us. We're, gonna, we're, we're nipping it in the butt because I am doing my darnest not to pass those along in my children, if that makes sense. Right, family? And so that's where we're at. And it's not easy. It's painful. It's not easy. But, but it's necessary. And nothing worthwhile ever is easy. I don't know why we expect it to be as humans. And so this is where it can start for you family like just find a spot near you where you can either walk to or drive to and and come out in a nature space without your headphones without anything and just be with your thoughts go for a bit of a walk see where your thoughts take you revisit that childhood cry scream talk to yourself you can do that all in the nature space right um it's important to do it to heal family and so that's why I encourage everybody to do it all the time, because I'm reaping the benefits of actually implementing it. So family, that's what's up. That's what I wanted to share. I want to I want to wish everyone well, send everybody good healing, positive energy. And I hope that people are are healing. And, and the thing is, is that we're not going to heal unless we actively pursue it. And we might not frame it as healing, but we have to actively be pursuing being the best us we can be and in order to do that we have to re we have to examine our flaws and our flaws are a result of something and again that goes back to going back and sometimes it's not as far as childhood because you know let's say for friendships if you're in a fr if you have friends and you're finding the same pattern is happening with the different friends that you have there might be something about yourself that's clearly um contributing to that pattern right and so you see what i'm saying we can apply it in every area of life i feel like i'm being long-winded again family anyway thank you for taking the time to listen to this message family i love and i value each and every one of you and i encourage everyone to get out in nature okay one love